Hi folks, I'm Chantal Mills. And I'm Andre Hertzbees, and this episode we want to talk to you about food safety around Christmas time for your dog. Yeah, well just uh, safety in general over the holidays, and uh, yeah, we'll start with, with food, food yeah. with food related items. Um, I think the number one thing that uh, people get and give for gifts um, contains chocolate. I don't know if it's like yeah, that at your house, it's Andre. It's like that at Christmas time, there's yes. a lot of chocolate. There has been over the years. Right. Yeah, and chocolate is, unfortunately, extremely toxic to many dogs. Mm -hmm. um, now, it's not one of these things where one tiny little piece of chocolate to a 100-pound dog is, is going to have a huge effect, but a lot of chocolate to that dog could have an effect, and a small amount with a small dog will have yes. a more serious effect. Yes. yes, and then some of those boxes come really well wrapped, and you just put them under the tree. Um, there might be a way, if you have pets, either you keep your pets away from the gifts, or you tell your gift, your guests if there's chocolate in the boxes, please don't leave them so the dogs, uh, you know, don't leave them under the tree. We don't want the dogs to, or the cat to get to it. So keep your dogs and cats away from chocolate over the holidays. Now, just one reminder, just because it's wrapped in somehow in plastic or in cellophane or in foil, and then you've wrapped it with wrap afterwards, mm -hmm. that's nothing to a dog's nose, of course. Yep. They'll smell right through that. And if it's enticing and it's been under the tree for a few days, they might go, I can't take it anymore. Right, exactly. And that could be quite serious. Exactly. Um, now, over the holidays, we tend to have foods that contain maybe more uh, fat, uh, more sodium. All these things are uh, can be dangerous for dogs. So everything like us, we should be having in moderation. Uh, for a dog, high levels of fat and sodium, and then certain ingredients can be very toxic. We're talking about onions, garlic, those kind of things. Garlic um, can be a problem for dogs as well, so um, not necessarily toxic, but um, it's unsure what the what the thing is with garlic. But you just want to play you it might safe want to stay away and stay it. away from it. Okay. And and like Chantal says, what happens over the holidays is diet changes and even a. a change in diet and it's not the normal dog food, mm -hmm. that could cause your dog problems right. also. I don't think there's any problem giving your dog a little bit of turkey, yeah. but maybe stay away from the stuffing. Right. The stuffing may have onions, it may have raisins, it may have nuts, all things that actually you should never give to your dog. Right. And what I would recommend telling your guests, because you have some well-intended guests at yeah. the dinner table who are just saying, oh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and your dog's getting a little bit of this and a little bit of that from, from Uncle Michelle and Uncle Luke and Uncle Bob and Aunt Judy and everybody, um, and then you wonder why your dog is not feeling well. So you can also just tell your, da your guests, um, my dog has severe allergies, please do not feed. Whether it's true or not, your main goal is to keep your dog safe. So please ask, you know, de determine ahead of time what it is that you're going to tell your guests to keep your dog or cat safe. And of course there are the standard safety issues around food. There are some foods you should never expose your dog to. Mm -hmm. Coffee, for example, oh, coffee. Yeah. Um, although a lot of people have a lot of coffee, that one's a definite no-no mm -hmm. uh, for dogs. Yeah. Alcohol is a definite no-no. Right. If you have guests um, and they go outside to have a cigarette, for example, yes. and they leave a cigarette product, even in the snow outside, mm -hmm. a dog might inhale that, just yeah. or not inhale yeah. it, but, but swallow ingest that, it. ingest yeah. that. Some dogs will eat anything, you'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. And tobacco, of course, can be dangerous yeah. also. Yeah, it can be very dangerous. So I think what, what you should keep in mind over the holidays is your routine is probably going to change. You're going to have you're going to have your pets around people that are not normally around. You might have foods that you don't normally have. And all these things, it just makes it easy to forget that your dog can get into trouble. Um, so just be mindful, be prepared, have a plan ahead of time, and make sure you have instructions for your guests if you feel that's necessary. And uh, keep the toxic and dangerous things away from your dog, yeah. or your dog away from the dangerous and toxic things. Yeah, absolutely. So enjoy Christmas with your dog. They'll enjoy it too. If, you, if they can have fun also, they understand that concept. So enjoy Christmas and thanks for listening. Yeah.